Hello, my 2020 twins. Welcome to Love is Clean. It's your girl, Miss Kelly. Yeah, mama up early, honey. I told y'all I was going to get myself back on my schedule. The ship. So I feel like, honey, some of y'all are about to embark on a new journey. Of course, I shuffled this. Called it the bottom seven of swords. So somebody I feel like is looking back to see if they've been caught on something. the bouquet so someone could be trying to make some sort of apology um, for some of you someone could be bringing could possibly bring you flowers um, I feel like but I don't know why I just feel like there's something hidden with this offer of this bouquet here what else do you have for Jen Okay, thank you. Then that's baby, the snake, and we have the house, and we have the ring. So some of you are either married or some of you are getting ready to be proposed to, hence the flower. So someone could possibly want to try to take you out on some a date or just, uh, I feel like there's a conversation that's coming. But there's something that you are not seeing about this offer here, okay? Something you're not saying about this offer. Like this energy going into the weekend awakening so someone could be awakening to this connection um music could be very healing and therapeutic for you at this time yeah see elusive priestess so some of you are not following your intuition about a gift i feel like there's some gift or something that someone wants to give you yeah balancing Child, Goldie must be in here howl for catnip early in the morning. Yeah, see, look at this. And then we have companionship. So this is definitely dealing with, uh, could be friends, it could be love. Um, but with this card here, this is my three of cups for this deck. Because as you see, there's three cups in this deck. Um, we have here adventure. Interesting. Self-care. Spirit wants you to align yourself, align your chakras, meditate more. Okay. Um. Oh, baby. Baby, 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 baby. This look like some shit. It's <laughs> about to go the fuck down. And Jim, I be trying, babies. I do. I be trying to get us some positive messages, but. I mean, spirit can only go by what the energy is and what it actually is. Oh, and I want to say this. Um, first off, thank you guys so much for all your love, support, donations. Look at this betrayal, baby. I don't know what the fuck. Okay. We have police here. So, there's some sort of betrayal use your intuition use your discernment like i say it could be someone trying to gift you something but um when god when you like someone or you find yourself wanting to entertain someone okay um and the person is not reciprocating what it is that you want or what it is that you're giving, there's a reason. There's a couple reasons. One, you and that person may not be compatible. That's number one, 444 four, four was just on the timer you are protected, okay? One, you and that person may not be compatible. Two, you and that person are not vibrating on the same level. 
three. That person could already be in something, okay? Or four, they're just not interested. And you have to be okay within yourself to where though you understand that everything you're, that you want, you're not going to always have access to. But the moment you decide to put out the energy that you're going to try to make somebody suffer or you want to see someone suffer because they did, because they, and it, it's not even, it don't always be rejection. You may feel rejected, but that person is just speaking their truth. If they're not interested, they're not interested. You can't be upset with a person because they're not interested in you. And I mean no harm. That same behavior, that same energy is probably why they don't want to be bothered with you. Five, five, five on a timer. That's probably why. And they saw it head on. So if you already came off clingy, you already came off pushy, you already, who's going to put up with that? And y'all ain't even crossed certain lines and boundaries yet? Hell to the no. My thing is look, look to see what's within you of why you constantly get rejected. Don't get mad at the next person. But somebody's getting ready to go to jail for something that they're about to do. Something they're about to do, somebody's getting ready to go to jail for it. What else can you tell me about this betrayal? Fake friends. So then I say friends here. Gemini, you got some fake people around you. I don't know who the fuck this is for. A situation is about to really explode. A situation is about to explode, okay? Uh, shit's about to pop off. Some of you, be careful. Somebody could be getting ready to try to set a fire. Um, there could be some sort of explosion. Okay, somebody that you're not seeing, they're brainstorming in the background. Okay? This is something you've been riding out for a minute. Hmm. about the snake body balance companion attracting getting a room so somebody's trying to get some sort of sexual um, this could be business or pleasure okay um, like a moth to light. I feel like, honey, you could be attracting some really shady people, and they're attracted to your light. It's nothing that you're doing wrong. Tell me about the house and adventure. Trash. Some of you guys need to get take your trash out. Some of you could be living in areas where, you know, like uh, when you live out in wooded areas, you don't necessarily have like a pickup trash day. A lot of people end up burning their trash or, you know, they have to end up taking it to like somewhere that's a little... Uh, like some sort of like factory or something. See, look at this kick to the curb. So this is someone who uh, feels like you threw them away or you discarded them. Um, somebody wanted to make you some sort of offer. Yeah, look at this, once upon a time. So this could definitely, see baby, I'm not liking this fucking energy. I don't know who or what the fuck this is about. Spirit is telling you to take care of yourself in this time. But you will also be successful, whatever ends up happening. Um, I do feel like you're going to be okay, but you just really need to be on your shit and really use discernment. Okay? I, I don't... We want to see what else. It's 
some of you could be being a little too trusting in this time. Somebody's waiting for the right time to trigger you. Okay? Or you could have triggered someone. But somebody's waiting for, in their mind, divine timing, the right time. This is somebody's holding a fucking grudge, okay? And then I say they're waiting for the right time. I don't, like, uh, One more for grudge holder. This person is trying to find out whatever information they can find out on you. So this person could be spying on you, could be asking people about you, trying to find out what your business is. And at the end of the day, clearly this motherfucker has no business because, you know, they got too much time on their fucking hands. Like I say, this is somebody, they're going to present themselves like a bouquet of fucking roses, but this person is a whole snake, okay? Thank you, wolf in sheep's clothing. I can't make the shit up. Yeah. They're talking to you from fake accounts. Okay? <laughs> so, I don't know why, you know, I don't know why people think they do shit in the dark. Curious about you. This person is curious. They're played out. <laughs> They're played out. You've seen all you, you've seen this, 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 you've seen this repeat before. Okay? You've seen the repeat. <laughs> And this is someone who's an authority figure, boss daddy, CEO, big, big energy. Whoever this is got big, big energy, but this motherfucker's a whole snake, okay? Or they got big, big energy. That don't necessarily mean they got one. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> they may have big, big energy, but they may not have a big dick. Do you, do you get what I'm saying here? Something about this trash love story. But this person is curious about you, okay? This person's going to try to get you to a... I'm feeling the setup. I lied to you now. I'm so feeling the fucking setup. Yeah, fishing for comments. So this person, whether you watching... Um, yeah, you're ignoring the shit out of this person. Whomever this is. But I feel like this is you putting your head down. Acting like you don't see certain shit. But you see it. This person could be as well watching your home, okay? But um, this person could be going through your comments. This person could be uh, you know, going through your the people that you're affiliated with. They could be trying to go through theirs to see what kind of conversations you have. You know, what are the things that you talk about, you discuss. Somebody's trying to learn you to deceive you. Again, we have here, wolf in sheep's clothing. Whoever it is, the motherfucker is mad, okay? Well, just know you got some fake ass friends that's around you too. This person is really tripping on you. I don't know if this person takes shrooms psychedelics but this person is tripping on you and you're unfazed as fuck didn't I say this person is out here as well divination abusing this person is out here as well getting readings on you somebody here yeah this is a groupie this is somebody who they don't have a car they like to try to be forceful and bully people but this person what they're failing to realize baby you're unbothered. This is somebody that's a player, okay? And they're upset because you didn't decide. You decided not to play with them, okay? Like I say, whoever this is, somebody is getting ready to try to propose. This person could uh, say, well, you know, let's go out. You know, like they're going to want to do it on a date or something of that nature. Some of you, it could happen at your house. But whoever this is, this person is a groupie. They're the type, they like groupies, okay? Um, somebody could be getting a lot of readings on you excessively. Let's see what else we need. Honey, I don't want to try to get y'all as much as I can. Because I don't know what the fuck this is about. But I'm not liking this energy right here. 
person that much, I can see. Yeah, this person is a manipulator. They twist facts. They lie. Okay? Like to try to make people feel sorry for them. This person, to me, has a lot of mental health issues. Remember yesterday, we kept having... Whatever, somebody has a lot of mental health that you're dealing with. Or you could have put this, took, taken this person out of your energy, okay? And this person is just in their feelings. Give me one more manipulator. Korean finances. So somebody's trying to improve their finances. So this is somebody who has uh, financial problems. And they could be jealous of the fact maybe you don't have any financial issues. Yeah, protection. Oh, so this person could possibly have an STD. See, here we go with this shit. You see what I'm saying? You got a motherfucker sitting over here mad that you keep trying to get readings and shit on you. And this motherfucker walking around with a whole STD. This is someone who wants to, uh, they're either living with someone. They're either living with someone, once you guys are moving together, or you feel like home to this person. But, honey, it's a shit show. I'm about this snake curious about you, played out, boss daddy. Look at this, secret meetings. This is somebody who, honey, they go, they go to the hotel, they got a regular side piece, okay? More is brewing with this situation, though. This person is having sex with other people, but this person could definitely have an STD, which is sick. They still love their person, though, and they're not leaving this person for you. Um, or, you know, this could be you another way around. You take your story, how the fuck it resonates. But um, whoever this is that they're cheating on, they have no real issues in their relationship. It's just this person is a very snakish, sneaky, deceitful type of energy, okay? This is the type of person, like I say, work could be affecting their love life, um, but this person is a manipulator. So this could be the type of person that, you know, their, you know, their spouse, their wife, husband, whatever, they could be making the side piece feel like, oh, you know, I'm just so stressed out. You know, she don't understand me, this, that, and the third. No, that's not it. This person still loves the person that they are in a connection with. But they like people who have uh, destructive behavior. They like the loose types. They like the ones who will... Yeah, didn't I say fooling both of you? Didn't I say? Mm-hmm. This is somebody, honey. This person... And they're very... They're very manipulative with it. You see, this is like he's enjoying it. This is an ego boost for whoever this is. And apparently, one or the other is not planning on backing down, okay? The rival. Mm-hmm. Now, this person, um... This could be someone who the rival feels like they're dominating the situation. Jim, you don't give a fuck. And this person is still tripping on you. So that's the part that's weird to me. Why this bitch worrying about you, bitch, get your nigga out the street. I'm so serious of Nick, you know, if it's a, if it's a female with the nigga. Tell that nigga, get, that, get your bitch out the street. This person on your motherfucking line worrying about you. You took the trash out. Yeah, once upon a time you looked at this person and probably felt like, you know, oh, I like this person. But as you got to know that this motherfucker's deceitful, they're wolf in sheep's clothing, they is a bunch of fake motherfuckers. You know, did you, yeah, fuck out of here. Let's see what this is about. Yeah, this motherfucker think they're a ladies, man. But there's something unexpected that's getting ready to happen or it already did. So this person could have brought this person in to try to make you jealous. Ladies, man, ladies, one, I mean, you know, uh, man's lady, whatever the hell. Like I said, I don't know why y'all fellas be acting like don't nobody care about y'all. And that is so not true. I did. I ordered some damn decks. Yeah. Like I said, you set boundaries with this motherfucker, so they upset with you. 
And that's why they're tripping on you because you're not putting up with their shit. Whoever this uh, so-called siren is, this little one that likes to just do whatever. Yeah, they with the shits. <laughs> they with the shits. I'm going to take what flipped over. That shit, you, the honey, they been played they self out with you. Okay, didn't I say somebody gonna come with an apology? Trying to say they sorry for they fuckery? Honey, it's all bullshit. You don't give a fuck. I feel like, Jim, you don't want this person's apology. They gonna say, oh, I'm gonna prove it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you better than I can tell you, okay? They're trying to gas like you. This person is determined. They think they're gonna keep both of you. This is your twin. This person thinks they're gonna keep both of you. Look, self-care here again. We're just saying take care of yourself. This is the type of person that they cancel dates with you at the last minute. And they definitely have a third party here. Young people just can't never just be on their shit. Like, and this retrograde, first of all. If you could tell if the motherfucker know any better, he should know that, that, that ain't nobody taking your ass back, especially I know doing no motherfucking retrograde. Motherfucker, don't nobody even want to talk to you doing retrograde. How you doing? The fuck? Motherfuckers be killing me, acting like they got all the sense. All the sense. Yeah, see? This is somebody who tries to come off like an emperor. They ain't all the way there yet. <laughs> uh huh. And they see you as beautiful. They see you as beautiful, you're outgoing, you you know, you staying on your own, you're passionate. This is somebody they feel like cause you don't need them. Yeah, spirit is saying, honey, be very cautious of whatever this offer may be. But what they're failing to realize. <laughs> Ooh, didn't I say it earlier? The grave you think you're digging for somebody else, you're digging for yourself. You have the king of wands with the five of wands and justice, okay? So this person is thinking they're going to deliver their own justice, okay? And like I say, at the end of the day, and this is your twin, because look, we have the queen of wands still here, and we have the king of wands here. This is definitely your twin. But this person feels like they're going to deliver their own justice. Now, they could be using a Libra to so-called get, they want you to, it could be a Libra they're trying to get you to get in some sort of fight or argument with. Honey, like I said, this is all ego boosting. This is also this person, again, wanting to come back to apologize. Jim, I feel like you don't give a fuck about what this person has to say. I feel like you could have blocked this person. Tell me about this uh, betrayal, fake friends, wolf in sheep's clothing, dirt digging. Honey, you gonna win. Well, you already have. You already have. A lot of this, you know, people too, they just want a lot of, they want attention. One more for the six of ones. Seven of Wands, yeah. You stood your ground. Somebody feels rejected. And what the fuck I'm saying is the truth. Somebody feels rejected. Somebody feels left out in the cold. Eight of Swords. And this was all either to leave you stuck. But it didn't work. <laughs> Six of Wands, Seven of Wands. It didn't work. Yeah, this person thought they was going to get your attention because they're in a two of cups that this person could have already. Yeah, this person could have. Yeah. This person was trying to get, this person was basically trying to get some ass, okay? This person, I feel like they tried to, you know, and this sounds like the same motherfucker. So whoever this is, honey, you got a motherfucker who just, they're obsessive. This person could, like I say, definitely I feel mental health. I do. Somebody has some major mental health shit going on here. Um, this person sees you as the nine of pentacles. You're the nine of pentacles by yourself. You don't need shit. You don't need nobody. Okay? 
you 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 you've accomplished a lot on your fucking own. Now, of course, you want that last pinnacle, but at the end of the day, if you don't got nine pinnacles on your fucking own, you can get that last pinnacle on your own. Let's be clear here, okay? Um, but with this two of cups being here, one more for this two of cups. The Empress. So, again, somebody's already, somebody was already in a relationship, but they was out here fucking other people. Um, yeah, and you ended it. Like I said, this was so called to leave you stuck. This was intentionally kept from you, that this person could have already been in a relationship. This is someone from their past. This person is watching in secret. And then we have the emperor here. So this could definitely, yeah, with the hierophant, this is somebody's wife or husband. Okay, I feel like you walked away from this situation. It was a lot of mind games, uh, back, you know, backstabbing. This, these people could have been saying all kinds of shit out of their mouth, trying to say, you know. These, this is somebody. Yeah, this is a whole, a different, a whole different uh, ethnic group. So I don't know if this is, you know, interracial couple. You know, this could be someone from the Caribbean. But they sit and they watch. You could tell there's some miserable motherfuckers here, baby. Miserable. And yes, they are twins. And these motherfuckers deserve each other. Whoever the fuck this may be. I feel like with these motherfuckers, the only reason they even sitting in Empress or Empress status is because they're married. Outside of that, I don't see anything Empress or Emperor like here on this motherfucking board. Because Emperors and Empresses do not conduct themselves like this. I'm sorry. I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. I'm not feeling it either. Yeah, five of pentacles. Mm-hmm. There's some sort of secret. Well, this person has a fear that their person wants you. Well, it's like I said, whoever this is, this person, they're tripping on you, but this person don't they still love their person. So this is a motherfucker who want they cake and eat, want to eat it too. What's the Five of Pentacles? So you could be younger than this person. Hmm, the hermit. So somebody feels left out in the cold, they feel ghosted. Okay. Somebody's feeling like they're feeling they're feeling really ghosted. And this could have happened in a recent past. Let's see what's this here. Yeah, your intuition told you get the fuck on, girl. Guys, okay. The fuck? Yeah. This would be just a, like I say, this would be the motherfucker who you know, they would wanna sit up there and say they wanna take you out but then cancel at the last minute. Or say that they wanted y'all to meet up but then cancel at the last minute. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. You already knew that this person was in a commitment. You figured out that this motherfucker here was a snake and they was a wolf in sheep's clothing. They came off all nice and loving and caring. Could be dealing with a Leo energy here. Masculine or feminine. Uh, Priest of Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you made a final judgment. Yeah, you said fuck that. I'm nah. You do you. <laughs> when you figure out, cause you, you could tell when a motherfucker's married. You could tell when somebody already with somebody. Now, I feel like for a minute, you was like, hold the fuck on. 
I know this motherfucker ain't trying to put me in no third party situation. But I feel like you made the right choice, young to a one. I feel like it may have took, took you a while to make a decision. Yeah. You might have. Okay. You have a Capricorn here. Um, somebody could be very obsessed with this person, could just been very just obsessed. Somebody's obsessed. Or just have like this 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 toxic ass bond with somebody. What was this betrayal? Two of swords, ten of swords. The lovers. Somebody made a decision. Who was chosen? Who was this lover that was chosen? Ten of Cups, Nine of Wands, with the Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, King of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Death Card, Ace of Wands, Emperor, Hierophant. Okay, so I feel like somebody went through a really bad phase of just bad relationships and i feel like honey jim you decided to just focus on your family i feel like somebody went through a lot of bad relationships and it left you in this energy here the queen of swords um whoever this is this is somebody who feels like you know they can't make a fucking decision so it's like okay or they got to keep trying to figure the shit out. Who makes me happy? Who do I want to be with? Like, who the fuck? Nine of Wands. Somebody got blocked here, though. Eight of Swords. And I feel like this left somebody stuck. Someone thought that they were getting ready to have a new contract. You know this ladies man apology prove it so I feel like some of you if you do even think about taking this person back and like I say look seven of cups this person has options a lot of them a lot of different ships coming in um, they could be you know these options could be spread it out across you know across the country like they could, this could be the type of person that have, they deal with people in different states. They could have options across the world as well. But we see that body of water. And I did say the Caribbean earlier. Mm-hmm. The magician. This person is very manipulative, and they try to find ways to manip- Ooh. Yeah, see, look, they don't want me telling they shit. Seven, seven, seven of pentacles here. Mm-hmm. This person, somebody's waiting. Like, this per- Whoever this is, this person- Mm. This somebody you don't fuck with. I can tell you that much. If you did care for him at one point, you don't know more. Like I say, I feel like with this situation, for whomever this is for, you've seen everything you needed to see about this person. And you said the shit is played out. You tired of keep watching the same motherfucking rerun, pretty much. Yeah, look at this. Princess of Wands. Ace of Wands. Oh, yeah. 
someone wanted you to, someone wanted a sexual relationship with you, <clears throat> but they wanted you to keep it quiet. Because they were married, but well, they are married, not were, they could be were, but I still see it's in the upright. So this person is still married. And I feel like whoever this is, this person, they like, okay, well, you know, I'm going to pay you. I feel like there's something different about you than this other person. This Queen of Cups, this person, they see you as very compassionate, very loving. You're very opposite of what it is that they have at home. Exactly. But, um, like this person could have been a type, they, you know, they want you to be the side piece. Pretty, pretty fucking much. They want you to be the side piece. Yeah, they wanted to keep this on a hush. The tower. Look at that. Look at that. Honey. This shit was built on a faulty foundation. That's why it ain't go no fucking where. This motherfucker, this shit was built on lies, secrets, okay? This moon card could have something to do with an Aquarius as well. Somebody's trying to plan yeah, and the, the eight of wands. And so you got the three of wands, the five of wands. That's eight wands. Then you have the eight of wands here. So somebody could try to communicate to somebody. Hey, I do. I feel like that. that's why I see this STD shit here. Somebody out here. But these are a lot of motherfucking wands. Will of Fortune, the star, and the world with the moon. Honey, somebody about to get their karma. And it definitely could be, it could be an Aquarius. It could be a Scorpio. It could be a Leo. I believe that's Sag. Oh, Taurus, sorry. Taurus. Could definitely be dealing with a Pisces here, okay? But this moon decided this moon ain't going nowhere. So you could be definitely dealing with a... Uh, yeah. This somebody you walked away from, darling. You left the pig in the motherfucking cup. Yeah, you walked away from this shit. And your intuition told you to do so. Okay, You've seen this before. That's what I'm saying. Like, you've seen this whole fucking thing before. Okay? That, like, Jim, I really feel like you're learning from your lessons. I commend you. No bullshit. Because whoever this is, this motherfucker think they just got you all wrapped around their motherfucking finger. And they just got it like that. Whoever this is, they, they King Dingling or King or uh, Queen Puntang. Like, no, I don't think so. Yeah. And I feel like you was relieved once you realized that this motherfucker wasn't about shit. Okay? Now, this motherfucker more than likely is furious. But you showed how responsible you are. Okay? This person could have been very close-minded. Well, they could have looked at you like, yeah, let down. Like I say, you, I feel like you like, hold the fuck on. Are you kidding me? Like, this motherfucker really come at me thinking I'm about to come and be his fucking side piece? Like, I know you like, hold the fuck on. Now, you know, we do find ourselves in situations where we may have been tricked before. But that's why I say, bitch, you recognize the signs. Yeah, see, self-love. You recognize the sign. You were shocked. And I tell you, bitch, I told you. You were shocked. 
Okay. You satisfied with the outcome. You okay with it. This motherfucker not. Somebody's offended. Okay? Like I said, you were offended that this motherfucker would even come at you and try to even think that you was... Yeah. So that made them, in your eyes, unworthy. Fuck, you don't... No. No. But this motherfucker's a rouse, bitch. <laughs> you know what? I can't. Jeff, I'm going to need these people to get their lives together. I'm serious. This somebody's in love, honey. In love. They missing you? I feel like, honey, but you're just grateful that, yeah. See, you're strong. See, this person tried to do shit to break you. I feel like the only thing they did was irritate you. But I feel like this person is irritated because, uh... They're feeling empty because you're not receptive to their advances. They're sitting back admiring you. Somebody could be exhausted because clearly it looks like somebody does a lot of the work here. <sighs> what do you want, Etsy? Because I y'all ain't even sent my goddamn cards. Oh, now the shit want to ship today. You see what I'm saying? The fuckery. What's the day? Thursday, which means my shit won't be here till next week. Look, I can't complain. Look. <laughs> I can't oh my bow. Trust it. Cause shit, we be all having delays. This damn shipping and mail and shit be oh shit, shout. Yeah, this person like that you're trusted. Oh, yep, and this motherfucker horny bitch. And they feel unwanted. Didn't I tell you turn that ass down? Once you figure, once you, when your intuition kicked in and told you that this motherfucker here, okay, that this motherfucker here, bitch, they marry, okay, if they so happy in their motherfucker relationship, bitch, go over there, okay? The fuck? Over here, cock blocking ass. Cooch blocking ass, you know what I'm saying? We try to block you from getting some new cooch. Or some new slong. You know what I'm saying? Tell them how they been to stay in their lane. Mind your business. Yeah, see? Knight of Pentacles. This motherfucker gonna try to come in at you slow. See, they was trying to take their time. I feel like, you know, when I see the Knight of Pentacles, sometimes I feel like that's grooming like. Yeah, see, Five of Swords. You knew when the conflict and shit start coming your way. Honey, you knew it was some shit. I feel like whoever this is, you know what the fuck was wrong with this person. Thank you, the towel. Look how that motherfucker just shot out, bitch. You ain't know what the fuck was wrong with this person. You thought this person was straight fucking crazy. This could be an Aries with air in their chart. Look at that, King of Swords. I feel like this person could have been saying some real, you know, just could have been really cold and just nasty with it. Like, I guess you say, Jim, bitch, I wasn't bothering you. The fuck you mad at me for? Okay. Well, honey, you just nicely just went and looked the other fucking direction. You ain't give a shit no more, Jim, as you shouldn't. The fuck? What about these lovers here? Look at that. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Queen of Wands. Mm. So there could have been a friend who told you to, who, you know, influenced you. I don't want to say they told you to do it. Could have been a friend that influenced you, yeah. This person knew something, too. This person... Oh. This person could have went back and said something to this person's wife. I don't know how they know him. Six of swords. Yeah, you kept him... Didn't I say it? Didn't the fuck I say it? This person went back and said something to this person's wife. To stab you in the back, but yeah, look at this. So 
So this, oh. So this could be why this person, maybe this empress over here could be looking at you like a homewrecker. Bitch, your man was shaking. Hold on. Okay, see this. Uh, baby, like I said, honey. <laughs> so there could be a friend who went back and said something like there's some sort of mutual interest here like some way or another they know this empress or they was able to get word back to this empress let's see what was this communication Well, somebody was very slow, too, at communicating with you. And that's what made you say, fuck this, I ain't got time. Yeah, Queen of Cups here. So, could be talking to a Gemini, thanks to Cusper. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Ooh. So, this could have been someone's karma. Or well, something ain't going the right way. Yeah, look at this, Justice. And I say karma. Three of Swords. Two of Wands, reverse. Someone wasn't making a choice. Or this could have been karma for something that happened with a Knight of Cups. The Magician, King of Pentacles, Hermit. Wow, we got the world card clarifying the world card. <sighs> Someone could also be having some sort of nightmares about... Uh, somebody could have done some sort of... Put some sort of black magic or some sort of root on somebody who could have passed away. About this double world card. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Six of Cups. Yeah, this person betrayed you in the past. Whomever this person to leave you single. Somebody could have wanted you. you. Okay, I don't know if this person. Like, because we saw friends. So, in some way, shape, or form, y'all were friends. Be cautious of this person. Uh, again, because this person is just here to cause you confusion. And they want to win overall. Like, they want your attention. They want a victory in this situation. Somebody, look, they're not showing their true fucking face. Somebody could be trying to curse your bloodline and your family as well. And I ain't trying to say this to scare no fucking body. I'm just telling you what the fuck I see. Um, I feel like you've been fighting this stuff off, though, for a minute. And this is someone who you could have rejected the sexual offer. Yeah, you rejected that shit. This person is well trying to block your creativity. <laughs> Yo, it's some wild ass people out here. They're watching you. Um... There could be some sort of message that could come through. Yeah. Judgment. <laughs> Baby. We all have to answer. We do. Yep, look at this. We all have to answer. What is this judgment? I feel like somebody is, um,
even though somebody let go of this deceptive person, somebody is depressed. Yeah, somebody thought that they was getting away with some shit. Yeah, put on a motherfucking show. Somebody thought that they was getting away with some shit, and the shit didn't go out. It didn't pan out the way that they wanted. And whoever this is, honey, you don't want their fucking apology. I feel like you don't want to say anything to this person at all. The magician, nine of wands, yeah. You've been trying to fight this shit off. Like, whatever this energy is that this person been sending towards you, you've been trying to fight it off. And they're trying to send it to your home. Didn't I say, baby, all because you want no parts of them. And what I'm saying is the truth. You want no parts of this shit. You don't want to sit at their table. Okay, this person could want you to come and sit at their table. I feel like you don't want to sit at this person's table. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, like I say, this person won't try to come in, act like they want to give and take with you. What can you tell us about this person? What are these traits? Because clearly this person got some shit with them. Tell us about this King of Swords. Thank you. Selfish, judgmental, self-serving. This is an inconsiderate person. They only give a shit about what they want. Heartless, in denial. They refuse to realize what a situation is. They walk in the dark and they're okay being in the dark. Self-sabotage. Okay, comfort eating, negative thoughts, justify, they blame everybody else, they refuse to take the mask off and really look at themselves, this person is very detached, timid, shy, humble, obnoxious, anxious, this is a logical person, so didn't I say they're very calculated with the King of Swords here? Yes, they're calculated. Oh, bipolar, ambitious, they're pushy, thoughtless, they don't, you know, they're inconsiderate, they only care about their own needs, they have a lack mentality, absence need, not having, superficial. They're very shallow. They can be very vindictive, very revengeful, ashamed. So somebody's ashamed. Somebody knows that they fucked up with you, Jim. Yeah, didn't I say it? Hurtful words. I knew they was being reckless out their mouth. Even though that King of Swords wasn't in the reverse, but, huh. They're spoiled. They feel like they should be able to always have their way, okay? They always want you know, and they will use anybody as a scapegoat. They will sacrifice anybody. So that's what I feel like. Whoever this person, if they were friends with somebody, like they could have sacrificed somebody else. Yeah, out and unstable. This person is very unstable. They're abusive. They're the type that will try to belittle you to make themselves feel better. They go through these rage moments. And they're very dramatic, argumentative, honey. Mm -mm. Yeah. Glad you followed your intuition on this one, baby. I'm glad you did. Uh, you know, I hope y'all did the meditation, but shit, if you that damn gifted and you ain't even had to meditate on the shit, and you just look game, recognize game. Like I say, divination abuser. Mm-hmm. So you're dealing with somebody that's in their call or that knows, that goes to get readings on you. And like I say, could definitely be a Leo. We have Leo strong. We have Pisces strong. We have other air energy here strong. 
All right, let's see what else we got here. Get you some oracle. Be careful with this person because I feel like somebody could have done something to somebody else in your family already. Let's see. What can you tell us about this person? See, you are being watched. This person has mother wounds. So this person feels like they could have been abandoned by their mother. They could look at you. So this is a child that do not feel like that their mother showed them any kind of love. What does the energy say? You need more than Jesus, okay? Divine intervention, Papa was a rolling stone. Family sins. the message to you guys go run tell that hmm. fatherly love so this person could have really loved their father generational trauma time to forgive brother heavy burden what happened at church? Okay, the bitterness is gone. A degree don't make you smarter. Mental illness, did I say that? Poison is the food. Watch who you eat from, the mortgages do. Fake friends out here again. Murderous thoughts, did not say, baby. Uncle. Mm. So hold the fuck on. <sighs> Was somebody poisoning somebody's food? There could have been an uncle, like whoever this other uh, person that was sacrificed. It could have been their uncle. Oh, baby. Where the fuck this tea come from early in the fucking morning? So and so. Mmm. Kissing cousins. Late night visits, fake smiles, the neighbor knows, don't get married. Cain and Abel, alcoholic. The answer is in the family closet, shoebox, freezer, attic. Well, someone does not have a sex addiction. I came up in the reverse. Father wounds. Incest. What happened in the bathroom? What the fuck? The kids know. Wait a fucking minute. Ugh. Okay. Y'all, this is becoming a bit much. It's becoming a bit much. I lie to you not.
This is, could have been something that happened in the past. I need, I don't know. I ain't feeling this deck right now for this. Come on, big baby. Give me, give, give, give me, give me the answers I need, please. Incest. What happened in the bathroom? I don't know who this is for. Five of Cups. Somebody that has no regrets about what they did. Tower Reverse. Title card. Ace of Swords. Let's say the kids know. Incest in the bathroom? What the? Transmuting generational change. Well, this is Ace of Swords. It says motherly love. Ask better questions. Who did this happen to? What happened in the bathroom? This incest. What happened in the bathroom? Look at the eyes. Jealousy. Inappropriate looking. Jealousy, inappropriate looking. You are in love with somebody else. Marriage expired. Broken hearted. So I don't know if some of y'all, the child is not yours. I don't know if some of y'all are dealing, ooh, was dealing with a pedophile or dealt with a pedophile. Never the sis. It says, sister, look at the eyes, jealousy, inappropriate looking. So somebody could be looking, stop blaming yourself. Somebody could be looking at somebody's, uh, I don't know, could be looking at a family member inappropriately. Something could have happened in a bathroom, could be incest. It says, sister, look at the eyes, jealousy, inappropriate looking. Time to forgive. Stop blaming yourself. Uh, we have father blackmail. So somebody could have been blackmailing somebody's father. Um, the child is not yours. I am proud of you. Baby, this shit just went a whole motherfucking left. Okay. What family member comes to mind right now? Hmm. Father blackmail. Secret affairs. They put a spell on you. Then I say, baby. What is this blackmail? What happened in the basement? Thanksgiving. Blackmail. What happened in the basement? Thanksgiving. Family friend. What happened in the basement, Thanksgiving, family, friend, ask God, the ancestors are proud of you, money mismanagement is in the reverse, who killed the pet? <sighs> All 
money isn't good money. The secret lies in the videotapes. Replay and write down family stories. So for some of you, I feel like as you write down some of these stories, then it says family friend. As you write down some of these stories, um, I feel like things are going to start to come back to you. What happened in this basement? Something. We have the Empress. So this is the mother. Something happened at home. It's semi of a burden. What happened in the basement? Queen of Cups. Six of Wands. Nine of Cups. Nine of Wands. Knight of Wands. So this mother could be a Cancer. Pisces, Scorpio. Whoever this is, this is somebody. They could be very arrogant. You hear that? Mm. This person, this is a relationship that they were in it, but this wasn't, this wasn't, let's say this, yeah, chariot judgment. So you definitely dealing with a cancer here. This person could be going under judgment now. And it could be something dealing with their health. The magician. The hierophant in the reverse. This could be somebody that this person divorced. So this could be a mother. Your mother, she could have divorced whoever this person is. This person could have... Somebody could have... Oh, God. I don't know what the fuck. Like, I'm over it. Seven of Swords reverse. Five of, five of Wands. Seven of Swords reverse. Strength of Leo. That has a lot of addictions. Two of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. This is somebody that could be homeless. Definitely a family member. Hey, Slim. Somebody's holding on to this shit, though. For a... Uh, wow. Definitely a Leo here. What I'm saying is true. I don't like what I'm saying. Mm. I don't like this y'all. Then do y'all see why I don't I don't bring this deck out but so much. Molestation is something that's just so. Mm, 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 mm. Money addictions, gambling, bullying. It was a lie. What was a lie? What was a lie? 
family vacation and kids, no. They want your mate, stop. You are not supposed to know. So there's something you're not supposed to know. It's a secret family. Child abuse going on. <sighs> this shit giving me a headache, y'all. Like, literally, I do. I have a headache. <clears throat> Let's keep hope. And something, something was about to be exposed, some sort of child abuse. Somebody's going to get some sort of karma. If somebody's abusing a child, block memories, yeah. Somebody's having a lot of block memories as well. That's why Spirit is telling you, write, your, write, your, write the stories you remember down. And I put same-sex molestation. For some of you, if this is your sibling, your sibling, your, si your sibling could have been molested as a child. For any of you who may have a sibling who's battling um, major addictions, um, yeah, something went on that was inappropriate, very inappropriate. Keep it in the family. What the fuck, yo? Like. <sighs> so somebody was told not to say anything about them being molested. Who the fuck does that? Walk by faith, not by sight. family legacy what is your intuition telling you i love you who are the dead that you see distorted feminine suicidal thoughts secret love child family healing what is in the wheel there's a secret recorder so be careful some of y'all there could be a secret recorder somewhere Baby, they trying to say somebody is as low as sleeping with a fucking family pet. God damn. It is time to be vulnerable. Cruel intentions. Put your pride to the side. Somebody has a secret family. Broken hearted. Family tragedy. Who touched who? Call a family meeting. The child is not yours. Who is lying? The neighbor did it. Money is involved. Trust issues. As God. You are a unicorn, ghost in the house, mother, you are passing, well, it came out cross, thank goodness. You are passing down generational traits, so some of you are trying to break these generational curses that has been placed on your family, domestic abuse, some of you are going through domestic abuse, nosy Nancy, the ancestors are proud of you. Somebody's inappropriate. It said y'all are all wrong, but it's in the reverse. So you're right about some sort of secret. Whatever secrets you're thinking about, give the ancestors an offering. That came out in the reverse. We have child abuse, emotional abuse, 
So somebody's just going to fuck through it. You gonna block memories. Somebody out here being a hypocrite. Somebody may not want to admit that they could be just like their mother. We got to get some oracle on this shit. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, there's a lot of family secrets. This just made my head hurt. Heart hurt. Mm. Child sex abuse is no joke and matter. Bullying, yeah. Look at that. And it says what? You are being watched. Told y'all that deck be too much for me sometimes. It do. Mm. Sometimes the truth needs to be heard, I guess. I'll never take pleasure in somebody else's like generational pain, but like I say, I feel like somebody was sacrificed here. And it, I don't think this is something that recently happened. I feel like this is something from the past. And my thing is, always look at who's going to benefit or who's going to, who's going to be the benefactor when you feel like somebody has tried to sacrifice someone that either you love or sacrifice or tried to sacrifice you. See who's the next to rise. That's what it happens when it comes to sacrificing. See who is next to rise. And the one that's still walking around happy, prospering. But yet they claim they that's their that was their bestest friend in the whole wide world. But when it came time for that motherfucker to show and prove that that was their bestest friend, and that motherfucker was nowhere to be found, or didn't help them the same way that that person that may have helped them, yeah, that's when you see who wanted who out the motherfucking way. That's who you see. That's when you see. You realize who wanted who out the fucking way. But be careful, Jim. You definitely got some snakes in your midst, baby. And they do not have your best interest at heart. Unfortunately. Y'all watch over your children. Be careful who are you letting keep your children, family members. I don't give a fuck who it is. Be careful who you are let keeping an eye on your children or letting around your children. Period. That shit gave me a headache. I have a headache. I'm gonna go eat once we finish. Once I finish this. Like my head is over here rocking right now, but I'm about to push through the rest of this. Alright, cause the 
sacrifice someone that you love. The bridge, yeah. Then I say somebody gonna try to come in wanting to mend some shit, honey. They really are. Make sure. Jeopardy, fearless is at the bottom. Winter. Hold on, y'all. Let me make sure because this child was up all night and he's supposed to be to work by nine o'clock and it's almost eight. Not on him making no notice. Give me one minute. get through this <laughs> yeah somebody that betrayed you backstabbed you and they want they want forgiveness could be a young fire sign very easily sag Some secret could have gotten out. Something could have been revealed. The moon reverse. Thank you. Something deceptive. Seven of swords reverse. Something somebody seen. Somebody feels out in the cold. Someone could have been blocked as well. There's a Sagittarius. An Aquarius, could be a Capricorn. Jim, you got a lot of people, Aries. These people want you, they think you're naive. I'm not lying to you. Whoever these people are, honey, they think you are naive. Or you just throw caution to the wind. These people feel like they can come in and like they're going to leave you out in the cold. And most of these people, they're players. Yeah, look at this. And you have the King of Wands. <laughs> King of Pentacles reverse. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles. So this King of Pentacles could have lost their money having to pay out this Queen of Pentacles. Could have been for children, could have been child support, yeah. Mm. Somebody got taken to the bank. Fearless, yeah. You cut out all the shit. I like it, Jim. You was dealing with this in and out ass fucking energy. All these people, see? All these people who thought they were just going to be in and out. You cut their ass all the way out. Yeah, you let go of the burdens. You put the shit down. You walked fearlessly into your new beginning. Yeah, you walked away. Can I say it? Mm-hmm. You kept a lot to, you held a lot to yourself. You know, I feel like a lot of you didn't even complain about a lot of the shit that was going on to you. You just knew what you needed to do for you, and you had to set some healthy boundaries for yourself. You know? 
I don't mean no harm. You may have had to, you know, move and do things swiftly. Like I say, people try to do and say shit to try to break you down. It's all come to an end. You will get your justice. Period. You will. Wish fulfillment. I feel like a lot of you, um, there could be a Scorpio that wants some sort of justice. Is he on a with the, and I say Scorpio, yeah. Scorpio wants justice. Someone wants to come in with a new contract. Somebody's willing to actually fight for it. This is somebody you ghosted. This is somebody jam. I don't feel like you want this person. Like, who is this? Some of you, you know, your justice is you changed a lot about yourself and your life. You decided to just move forward, yeah. You could have found out, too, that somebody could be actually selling. Somebody could be a drug dealer. With that chariot and the Six of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody could be out here selling. Mm-hmm. First of all, somebody's going to want to take you out on a date. You wash your face real good with some cold water? Wash your face real good with some cold water to help wake you up. You don't want to take your coat? Because that might wake you up. It got a little bit of caffeine in it. You want to stop past the store and get you a cold one? Huh? Okay. Somebody is holding on to something that they really want to say. Somebody could be missing their, um, could be missing someone, could be a fire sign. Somebody could actually be a little depressed about it too. Yeah, could be a father figure.
Давай выгадай. Try not to be grumpy, I know you're sleepy. Vacation. Some of you are getting ready to go on vacation. Kangaroo. Unsettled times. Need to plan ahead. Keep your life in balance. Strong emotion. Passionate love or hate. People can be very emotional, or there's going to be a fire sign that's going to be very emotional. Temporary problems. Someone is leaving your life. Poor, muddled, uncertain thinking. Advice from a friend. July. Slowly but surely getting ahead at the bottom. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. I'm only clarify the ones I feel like y'all would want clarified. chair there's a friend that you're getting ready to find out some betrayal and it could be at a celebration but there's a mm, could be a leo with the sun being here It's something somebody going to tell you or something you going to find out about somebody. Yeah, this is Leo. Sun came out again. You getting ready to get some sort of clarity. And once you get this clarity, honey, there's not going to, you're not going to look behind you any longer. Somebody is... Sitting back waiting to see if somebody's going to reap something. Advice from a friend. Eight of Swords. The Hierophant. Could be some sort of information that you get from... A highly spiritual person that's going to help you make a decision, I feel like, to move away 
from a situation. Ooh, Queen of Wands reverse. Who the fuck is this? So what I'm trying, what I'm feeling like is if you thinking about getting some fucking advice about relationships or anything like that, don't take it from whoever the fuck this fire sign is. Yeah. a water sign out here who feels like somebody calling themselves looking at you like either you're a hoe or somebody looking at somebody like they a hoe I don't know am I dealing with a Gemini cancer cusper for my masculine and you see some queen of wands or some sort of whore it's in reverse though Some of you, there's some negative energy in your home. Some of you need to move. but somebody needs to move. There's somebody who wants to reconcile with you, but I don't think this is a good idea. I don't. First thing, do not lower your fucking standard. Period. I don't give a fuck who come back and what they got to say. We're going to say, do not lower your standards. Let's see what we got going on in career. What you have for career for Jim? Change. There's a change for the better coming your way. Embrace it. Could be within the fall and winter months. Just because you don't see any movement doesn't mean nothing is happening. Something. Sometimes to see change, you must be the change. So there's something that you may need to change or walk away from. Money manager, retail, you have an idea in mind. This is the green light. So some of y'all could be thinking about, oh, windfall. Justice. There's some sort of justice that's coming come winter, fall time. Something in your life needs to be brought into alignment. Your career may be in law, such as police, military, in courts or the criminal justice, be sure to be honest and ethical in money matters or you will face the consequences. You're about to receive a windfall of money or pay raise. Money is currently in a positive cycle. This is a great time to treat yourself or make that big purchase. Not right now. October 18th, yes, not right now. We are still in retrograde. You don't make any big purchases during retrograde. Um, you have an idea in mind that's giving you the green light that there is a need for it. Consider careers in retail or e-commerce, whether it's goods or services. Save time, energy, and add passive income by taking your business online. The people you spend the most time with 
shape who you are. So be careful who you're spending time with. If you all, if the people you spend time with are only going out spending money, that's not the till. Those are not the people you need to be up under. Manage your money correctly. Be be around more people who are more business minded. If you are a business minded person, yeah, improve your relationship with money. You may have conflicting values that inflict negative negatively on your values around money. Change behavior and develop better money habits. Prudence. Don't let the balance of your credit cards get too high. Put something aside for a rainy day. Stay within budget and start living within your means. So, be careful that you're buying too much, Jim. Too much online shopping. Next level, be a boss. You're either about to take your finances to the next level or it's time that you do. If your finances haven't improved yet, you can be certain that they will soon. There's a chance of something extra in the air. Risk. Taking a calculated risk is sometimes necessary in order to advance. Have the courage to face the uncertain, face the fear of uncertainty. Don't focus on the outcome. Ours are better than you think. Network. It may be times you can create or reach out to your network of people who will help you consider a career in marketing, promoting sales, or professional networking jobs. Make the most out of your resources. You have to improve your finances. Easy does it. Take your time. Be gentle with yourself. Mm, we're going to get you some self care and then we out of here. No, I got work to do so I can be up out of here, baby, after today. I'm trying to tell y'all. Try to get some of those boxes done tonight. self-care message do you have for Jim? Thank you. Expand your network. Keep saying you need to expand your network. Home needs TLC. Okay. Give your home some attention. Redecorate, clean it, or sage it. Give less fucks. Start a side hustle. The less fucks you give, the happier you will be. Start a side hustle. The best way to become your own boss is to start a hot side hustle. Make new friends. Get out there and make new friends. Don't hide in the shadows. Heart chakra. Somebody's heart chakra is out of balance. So you're caring too much about other people, what they think and what they want and, you know, you need to be focusing on you. Use essential oils. Never stop the hustle. Create an altar. Create a sacred space to help you manifest your intentions. Sacral chakra is out of balance. Okay. Um, yeah. Some of y'all be sexually frustrated. I ain't mad. Join the club. <laughs> Avoid gossip. Okay? And get rid of negative energy in your life. And don't let it steal your light. Because gossip steals your shine, baby. Don't let nobody come in and steal your shine. Don't entertain the bullshit. The bullshit. Do not entertain it. And that's the truth, Rue. Do not entertain the bullshit. You hear it, keep your mouth shut. Don't add on to it. Excuse yourself. <laughs> Whichever one works. You see? Just tell you. Just remove yourself. Or just don't say anything. Don't respond to it. 
You don't want nobody coming back saying Jim said shit. Okay. My OG message. Shine bright as fuck. It irritates their demons. Now go annoy the fuck out of them. Pretty much. I wasn't ready for that message this morning, y'all. I wasn't. How many fucks is it going to take? Are you a porn star? Do you feel like everything and everyone keeps fucking you? <laughs> okay. Wait a minute, Jim. I needed this, honey. This is the first last I think I done had throughout the whole day of reading. Stop putting yourself in... Hold on. Hold on. Do you feel like everything you do, and everyone, yeah, keeps fucking you? Stop putting yourself in positions to please others while you lay there getting fucked. Do you hear me? Okay, wait a minute. Oh, gee, did you just step the fuck through the building and just put that shit down? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, oh, gee. Oh. Yes. Don't waste your time in pressing food. You will only look end up looking like the main one. Trash. Time to throw that shit out. Yeah, you a goddamn work of art. Honey, look. Stop doubting yourself. You have a superpower, honey. And it's called living. Period. Y'all gotta go. I love you guys so much. Let me see. Let me get what was give me an end of message for John. What you wanna end? What do you want them to end off with, sir? Surrender to your to run, surrender to your soul. Lean in anyway. Remember your true self. Ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. Take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. True love. This love is once in a lifetime. Okay? So Spirit is saying to show that you care. But whomever this is coming towards you or that you already have in your life, it's a love of a lifetime. Those who are in couples. Because all y'all not single. We're going to... Those of, who are in couples, those of you in couples, just say those five little words. Go solo. Oh, shit. It's not that serious. Go on a real fucking date. Time to talk money. Okay? Grown-ass folks take care of their money. You decide where to eat. Go solo, a long time, happier, equal, happier together. So some of you guys could be up under each other a little too much. It's not that serious. Laugh, fuckers. Don't let the bullshit make you bitter, okay? Because, honey, go on a real fucking date. Smell good and get your sexy on, okay? Y'all need to get on on a date. Some of us need to go on a date. Shit, I know I'm one of them. I be, look, I, I feel you out now. Your ass don't make it. You don't fucking make it. I already know. Like, if I like you, I like you. And I know whether I'm, a, you know, whether I'm attracted to you or not or, you know, shit like that. I'm just saying. What should Gemini do about this spread today? <laughs> what should they do about this spread today? What should Jim do? Let's see. Move away. Clear your thoughts. 
Okay. Continue to focus on your family. Listen to your intuition. And they end it with you. Yeah. Jim, I just feel like you need to focus. Just just focus on you. Okay. You have a fire sign here that this person, they could come off like a complete asshole, but this person, uh, this person actually has a lot of emotion for you, and they want your attention, they want a victory with you. They see you as very abundant. They see you as wish fulfillment. But I feel your intuition is telling you, stick with what the fuck you know. Okay. I don't know. Some of y'all might be dealing with a pet with the past, or may go back to a past person. I don't suggest it. Jim, if they fucked you over once, baby, they'll do it again. Don't let this motherfucker fool you. Listen to your higher self. That's what I have for you, my jimmies. I love you guys. This was a heavy fucking reading today. So, um, I'm going to come back. I'm going to do another reading for y'all today. Because I'm hoping that the energy changes a little something. I don't know what the fuck that was about, but... Love you guys. Ooh. I was about to say, it gave me a headache. I'm tired. They done made me, they done drain me like that. This, this reading drained me. Normally, I'm more upbeat after the reading. I'm ready to go. Like, I feel drained. So, uh, yeah. I will see you guys in your next read. Love you guys. Peace.